What? Did you subscribe yet? Before we get into this video, I'm gonna need you to subscribe and hit that notification bell, share, like, and comment this video with anybody and everybody on all your social media platforms, just like I would do on mine. So, help your girl out. Watch our ads. Mm. Let's get it. Let's get into the video. Bye. Hello, y'all. Before we really get into this video, I want to say congratulations to my girl, Geisha, because she, Geisha GTV, if y'all don't know, go watch and support her um, channel. She is, um, she has been on her stuff and she is in the process of, you know, going up, getting big, you know, everything going right with her YouTube. If you understand, I'm not going to speak her business out. Um, but yeah, first I just want to say congratulations and I love y'all and everybody else that support me. Now, let's get into the video. <laughs> what it do, Jules Crew, what it do, what it do, what it do. Your girl is back, back, back with another video. First, before we get into this video, again, I say, get with the hair. I like this style that I see, but I usually see them like do it with weave and stuff like that. But the fact that your girl can pull it off with the natural, I wish I had like a bigger scrunchie or something. Cause my hair is not really thick, but I still think I pulled it off. Let me know if I pulled it off, y'all. I didn't do my edges, so mind your business, mind your business. But anyways, for this video, I'm going to be talking about weight gain after surgery and around two. So first, I'm going to talk about weight gain after surgery. Now, with me, um, usually when you get like surgery and you get in fat transfer, it's not really like some people thought it would think it's a weight loss surgery. Like, no, it's just transferring some of your fat to another location. The same exact fat that was in that stomach or wherever you got it, transferred to somewhere else. Which means the same exact many pounds is getting transferred to the same body. So, um, you usually don't really lose weight from the surgery. Now, you can... In particular because they can take a certain amount of fat out but not put all that fat back in um like they took 12 liters again I say out of my just my stomach not my back not my my size it was just my stomach and they put two two liter 2.1 liters in each butt cheek so I lost I lost about five pounds five six pounds um after surgery now you still have to maintain it um afterwards after surgery they always say feed your fat and i wasn't just feeding it with the healthy fats i was just eating because i wanted to just eat still um don't do that everybody because everybody can't do that um i didn't gain weight from it i still after what well, is almost seven months now i still maintain the same exact weight um that i did when I had surgery, but the way it grows back is different. Like you can still do, like the way where your fat grows is different. My butt look way bigger than what it did when it was swollen after surgery. Do you understand me? And I feel like my stomach, my stomach is still not big. Um, I still have a little fat because I didn't get every drop removed from um, my stomach. I just got as much as I, I literally said, take as much as you can uh, from surgery. And if y'all hear stuff in the background, it's because it's raining outside. So my mood is like really good because the rain calms me and settles me and blah, 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 blah. But yeah, so I told them, I said, sir, doctor, 
Castillo, however you say your name, take it all out. I don't really think he understand me because he speaks Spanish, only Spanish. So I told his person that was translating, I was like, tell him to take everything he can out. Um, so no, fat really don't, it don't just grow back in your stomach. Well, in my stomach, um, it may like, if it grows, because you can still like gain weight without gaining weight scale wise. I feel like if that makes sense, like, cause my butt has gotten wider and bigger. Um, and then like my rolls on my back are still kind of the same. Like I still look the same. I've always had a fat or fuller fat face um because of my dad my mom has like a a small oval face but i've always had a fat face and i've always had huge tatas so sometimes um it's harder for me to see like my results with my stomach and everything because of my tatas being so big so that's another reason why i kind of want around to now Around two, no BBL. I don't want no more butt because I'm not about to sit up here and be looking like, like, like a like. Like, I'm not doing it. Um, long as they can. But uh, this time, I will want to get Lipo 360 all the way around because I will want my back done. I will want my, um, my back rows gone and my lower, the lower fat right when your back and butt meet. I want that gone also that's really what i want gone um you can take a little bit more of my stomach too and just shape it out that's cool but it's really the round two life pole part is for my back because i got my front because at the point at that time i was just wanting to see results and he said the best way to see results is just to take out my stomach so my stomach is good my clothes fit better and everything sometimes it's still harder for me to see only again because of my boobs now if i go back for a round two it will probably be in 2021 by the end of this year um i feel like if you got the means and you're able to do it do it i'm still in the process of trying to buy a house this year so that will be the only backfall because if i'm trying to get my house that's really my main priority so i will probably get my house and then get the surgery so hopefully i can do that by the i want to get my house by my birthday which is in october so if it don't happen in at the end of 2021 it will happen at the beginning of 2022 um surgery wise uh but it will just be lipo 360 i'm gonna mainly tell him to focus on my back and probably some more of my size. And then um, probably a breast reduction. Um, I feel like I will be able to see more of my results. Like, I can see it when I put on my clothes and my stomach. My stomach is good. My body, I have a nice shape. I like my shape. I don't want to be skinny. Um, yes, I want a flat stomach. Who don't? Um, flatter. It's not flat, but it's not just big. Um, so I just want him to shape it up, but I want him to take my boobs down. Now, I ain't trying to have not no boobs now. Just take, you know, a cup or two and lift them, lift these bad boys up. Um, then I'm good. I just want, um, probably like a double D type thing. I don't want him to add no, no implants because clearly I don't need none. If I, if I'm getting implants, I might as well not get, no, I just want him to really lift them and, um, Probably take it down just a little bit because I still like my boobs. I just don't want them to be as big because I feel like I'm not being able to really see my results stomach wise. Because when I wear a shirt and if I wear a loose shirt, you can't tell because the shirt just go down because of my tatas. So that's really what I want. So by the end or beginning of 2022, I feel like I'm I am gonna have my surgery not BBL. It's just gonna be lipo. 360 and a breast reduction um now if i can get the breast reduction through like my insurance because my it does make my back hurt um especially at work when you're sitting up or standing or whatever you're doing like my back hurts my bras hurt i mean my shoulders hurt because of my bras and everything so yeah i feel like if i can get that done through my insurance then i'm really 
you can do it that way and just get the lipo later. Um, but a round two is in my picture. The only way it's going to stop right about now is if my, if Lord sends my man, my husband, not my man, my husband down and your girl be stuck for nine months, not be able to do nothing. Well, I'm going to still be doing stuff. But if your girl be stuck for nine months, if you, if you get my drift. So, that's in my plans, hopefully. So, if that don't happen, then surgery will happen. Got it? It's an either or. It's an either, either or. It's an either, either or. It's an either, either or. So, yeah. Um, but weight gain, it gains... But I know I'm all over the place at this point. I don't care. You're still here, hopefully. Just girl. Uh, so yeah, weight gain. You usually gain it in different parts of your body. Some people gain it in their shoulders if they have like a tummy. If you have a tummy tuck, if you have a tummy tuck, it's usually harder to gain weight in your stomach because they take the fat out. Now lipo is a little bit easier because I feel like they say it can grow back. Now. There are times when I get bloated and I be like, what the heck? But then when it gets, when, you know, the bloat goes down or that time of the month leaves or whatever, and I be like, oh, okay. Like, I can still see all my results. I still like the way I look. I love the way I look. I'm way more confident in myself, which is a, a huge plus for me. Um, but, yeah, so everything is really, you gain, some people gain it here. I think I gain it in my butt and my boobs because when I if I gain weight, these don't stop growing. Period. They don't stop growing. And I be sitting up here like people are like what size you wear, bitch. I'm trying to figure that shit out too. Not. I'm sorry. What size you wear? I be trying to. I be like I don't know. I'm trying to figure that out too. Cause I really, really do. This look cute for sale. <laughs> So yeah, I've been trying to figure that out too. But um, it is easy to gain weight if you don't do the proper things to not gain weight. Like I'm about to start for myself, I'm about to start intermittent fasting. Um, really probably like at least 14 to six, no, 15 to 17 hours a day. Probably really eat when I'm at work. Or on my way to work type stuff. Um, make sure that that time frame is correlated with my meals. Because I do work overnight. So I'm most likely going to be eating at night instead of throughout the day. Because I'll be asleep. Which is better for me. And I'm in fasting. Probably working out a few times a week. Um, but I know it all starts first with your diet. So make sure if you're going to get the surgery that you maintain an okay diet. Yeah, you can still do all that you want, but at the same time, don't do enough to lose your results. Hold on, hold on. Sorry, I swear people don't call or text until you do a video. Um, I don't even know where I was. Do, 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 do. But yeah, so it's basically really the end of the video. I am going to get around to if your girl don't pop out some of these kids because I'm getting old. No, I'm not old. Like an old, I'm about, I'm 25. But at the same time, I'm not trying, personally, not trying to have my first child at 30. Um, I know I still have time and I am waiting for that right person because I don't want, I don't, I don't want the drama. I don't want to, I don't want the drama. So... Uh, even when you can still have the right one and still have drama, there's things that's always going to happen. But I prefer to wait for that special someone before I have these kids. So, yes. Um, if I don't have that special someone by the end of the year, your girl is getting surgery round two for herself. Because all 2021, you do stuff for yourself. Don't do stuff for anybody else. So, I want a round two. Not of a BBL. I want a round two of lipo, and I want some of these tatas gone. Um, weight gain is usually in the spots. It's easier to grow fat in the spots that they added fat to. So, yes, my butt gets bigger even if my 
the size on a scale doesn't. My butt gets a lot bigger or my hips spread, but my stomach don't really go anywhere. So it's still a nice shape, a nice figure and everything. But yeah, so. Get with your girl. Uh, Furnished House Tour is going to be coming really, really, really soon. Um, it's probably going to be completely furnished minus two things because I want to get a table for the living room and some bar stools for my counter, whatever piece that is. So that's going to be coming real soon. Everything else is pretty much put together. And I also have some challenges that's coming. So stay tuned. I just got to get some people that want to do them because some of these challenges are a little challenging. So, uh, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Thank y'all so, so, so much for watching. And I love y'all so, so, so much. We're going nowhere but up. Oh, also congratulations to my girl, Geisha, uh, GTV. GTV is going up. Go subscribe to her channel. Um, and yeah. I just want to say I love everybody and I thank y'all for supporting me from the bottom of my heart. And again, we're going nowhere but up. Deuces!